Trauma bonding is a psychological phenomenon that occurs in abusive relationships, especially in relationships with narcissists. It's the process by which one person forms an emotional attachment to another despite feeling abused or mistreated. Trauma bonding with a narcissist can happen when you've been abused. Here are 10 things trauma bonding with a narcissist does to an upright person. Number 1. It can make you feel guilty for having emotions. Trauma bonding with a narcissist can cause you to feel guilty for having emotions, especially negative ones. The narcissist takes advantage of your vulnerability and use it to make you feel bad. They do this so that they can gain power over your life. Narcissists may tell you that you are too sensitive, that they are the only one who understands what it's like to be in your situation, or they might try to convince you that everyone else is wrong and that they are right. The narcissist will often tell you that your feelings are wrong or that they shouldn't be feeling them in the first place. It's important to remember that it's not your fault that you have these feelings. They are natural. The narcissist has made it seem wrong for you to have these feelings, but it isn't. Number 2. It can make you feel bad about yourself. Trauma bonding with a narcissist often makes you feel like you are the problem. That's because the narcissist doesn't see his or her behavior as the problem and will do everything they can to make you think it's your fault too. You'll begin to question your actions and wonder if there was something wrong with what you did. The narcissist in your life is always better than you. They will ensure you know it. They'll find something wrong with everything you do. And they'll never give you credit for the efforts that you have made. The narcissist will belittle your efforts and make you feel like a failure, even if you are doing your life's best work. Number 3. It can make you question your sanity. Trauma bonding with a narcissist is an incredibly confusing experience. It's easy to feel like you're losing your mind and that everything is out of control. The more time you spend with them, the more convinced you are that you're crazy because their behavior just doesn't make sense. When you're in a relationship with a narcissist, it can feel like they're the only person who believes you're sane. But it's important to remember that they've got their agenda, which isn't to help you heal or feel better. It's to keep you confused and off balance so they can continue to take advantage of you. Number 4. It can make you feel alone and isolated. It's easy for you to start feeling like no one understands what you're going through because of the nature of the trauma bond. Narcissists are like masters at making you feel like the only person who understands or loves them. If narcissists have such a strong hold on your emotions, it's easy to get caught up in their world and forget about everyone else for a while. If you're spending all your time with one person, it's easy to forget that you have other friends and family members who care about you. You can break free from trauma bonding with a narcissist by reaching out to these people again. Remember that trauma bonding is a learned behavior. It will take time before it wears off completely and you start feeling things again. Number 5. It can make you feel like no one will love you anymore. Narcissists are master manipulators and can convince even the most rational person that they are the only ones who could be good enough for them. This can lead to a feeling of hopelessness where you think there is no point in finding someone else because no one else could ever love you the way they do. When they leave, it feels like your last chance at love has gone with them. People who are capable of loving others are capable of loving themselves too, which means they don't need to use other people to feel good about themselves. So if someone mistreats you or doesn't treat you right, it's not because nobody will ever love you again. It's because that person isn't capable of loving anyone else healthily. Number 6. It can make you feel like you can't do anything right. A toxic relationship with a narcissist can make you feel like you're constantly making mistakes and messing up. 
Narcissists often have very high standards and they'll criticize and belittle you when you don't meet their expectations. Suppose someone keeps telling you you're not good enough or intelligent enough. In that case, eventually it will make you believe that you can't do anything right. This is another way that trauma bonding with a narcissist can hurt your self-esteem. When you've been traumatized, it can be hard to feel like you have any control of your life. You might find yourself constantly second-guessing yourself, wondering if the other person is right about you. This can cause a lot of self-doubt and self-hatred. Number 7. It can make you feel like something is wrong with you. When you're in a trauma bond with a narcissist, it can be easy to start believing something is wrong with you. You might feel like parts of yourself don't belong or you don't deserve to be treated well. When you're in a relationship with a narcissist, it's hard to know what's real and what's not. You may feel something inherently wrong with your personality or way of thinking. But the truth is, nothing could be further from the truth. Trauma bonding is not about who you are. It's about the trauma bond and what it does to your brain chemistry and thought processes. Number 8. It can affect how you make decisions on your own. Trauma bonding is insidious because it can often lead to distorted perceptions and thinking. The trauma bond is about control. If you have been in a traumatic bond with a narcissist, the person in question has likely used gaslighting, manipulation, and coercion to control you. The narcissist will try to convince you that your life without them would be utterly empty and meaningless. When you're in a relationship with a narcissist, it's easy to lose track of what's good for you and what's good for the narcissist. You may start to rely on them for everything from emotional support to financial advice. And when that happens, it can be challenging to know when you should make a decision based on your own needs or when you should do what will please the narcissist. Number 9. It can make you feel worthless and not enough. Trauma bonding can make you feel like nothing you do is enough. You might begin to think you are worthless and not enough because your abuser wants you to think this way. But these feelings come from nowhere. Narcissists will gaslight their victims until they believe the only way to regain that sense of self-worth is through the narcissist. If a narcissist makes you feel like nothing, it's important to remember that this is not your true self and it is not who you are. You might feel like you're not good enough for the narcissist or that you don't deserve the attention they give you, but really, it's just a trick of their trade to ensure you'll do anything to keep them around. Number 10. It can make it hard to trust people. Trauma bonding with a narcissist can make it hard to trust other people. You may feel that you can only trust yourself and that others will hurt you. You may even become suspicious of your friends and family and feel they are out to get or use you. It can be hard to trust people after being in a relationship with a narcissist. These relationships are often filled with manipulation, gaslighting, and other tactics that make it difficult to know what's real and fake. While it's essential to take time to heal and learn how to trust again, it's also important not to let your fear of being hurt prevent you from having healthy relationships in the future. Trauma bonding tends to happen over time, so many different things might have occurred during that period, and each one may feel like a little disaster. It can be hard to put all those things together into a big picture, and see how much damage was done by the narcissist's abuse and manipulation. But remember this, narcissists prey on good and decent people because we are easy targets. And if we aren't careful, we could end up being taken advantage of again in the future by another narcissist who tries the same strategy on us. Let us know what you think in the comments below. Like this video and subscribe to this channel. Take advantage of this exciting video right here.